Let me know if you feel any pain. Same thing, you say 99 as I move my hands down. Alright, go ahead. 99. 99. One more down. 99. Alright. <clears throat> and I'm going to listen to your lungs down from the front. Alright, deep breaths in and out through your mouth. Ready, go. Let me know if there's any tenderness, pain, or anything like that. Okay. okay, no lumps or lesions and no crepitus. And then when I go down your back, I'm going to have my hands like this. Can you just say 99 for me? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. 99. Say it again. 99. Again. 99. One more time. 99. All right, and what that does is it allows me to feel the vibrations of your voice. So now I'm gonna listen to your lung sounds. Every time I move the stethoscope, you're gonna breathe in and out through your <coughs> mouth. And every time I move it, you're gonna take a new breath, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so go ahead. I'm gonna go on the right side over here. Back over. All right, and then just lift your right arm up and lean over so I can get this right side right here. Keep taking breaths in and out. I'm going to turn this around. This is called a bell, and it's going to detect any abnormal sounds. We're going to do the same thing. Good. And the last thing I'm going to do for this <coughs> is there's also arteries in your neck, as well as veins. Mm -hmm. I'm going to listen to those. Um, I'm going to listen for any abnormal sounds. Mm -hmm. They're called bruise, which would mean that you have like irregular blood flow in your um, arteries. Okay. So just turn to this side, and I'm going to have you. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, just your head. So just like the other test. And then what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you breathe in, breathe out, and then hold it out. Don't take a next breath in when I tell you, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's also going to be on the bell side. All right, so breathe in, out, and hold it. Very good. And I'm going to have you do this side. <clears throat> breathe in, breathe out, and hold it. All right, very good. No bruises were detected, so that I'm going to listen to your heart so you can just breathe normally.
listen to your heart for a full minute. So you need to do these for a minute. Okay, now I'm gonna um, listen to your lungs. over here to the side. Can you lift up for me so I can listen to your back? Palpate, sorry about the clavicle, I'm gonna kind of go around, down, let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness. Any pain or tenderness? Nope. Okay, so I would note that patient felt no pain or tenderness and there were no lumps or masses felt. Um, next, I am going to palpate the radial pulse as if I was counting respirations and I'm going to note that it would be 12 to 20 beats per minute after listening for an entire minute and that breath sounds were unflavored. And now I'm going to listen to your lung fields. I'm going to clean my stethoscope. 
and listening with my diaphragm, I just want you to take a breath each time I move my stethoscope. Go ahead and lift your arm up for me. I'm going to listen to your lateral fields. Breathe in and out. Great. Other arm. Okay, great. I would note that no adventitious sounds were heard and breathing was unlabored and even. And if you'll turn around for me, I'm going to assess the posterior chest. So upon inspection, I'm going to note that the color is even throughout, and I don't see any lesions, lumps, um, no discoloration. Um, the posterior chest is symmetrical with an elliptical shape. Or um, the the anterior chest has an elliptical shape, but the posterior chest has that symmetric downward shape of the ribs. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and clean my stethoscope again, and I'm going to listen to um, your lung fields. Okay, just breathe in and out each time I move the stethoscope. There were no adventitious sounds and the lung fields are clear. And now I'm going to percuss at the costal vertebral angle at the 12th rib. Just let me know if you feel any pain or tenderness. Any pain or tenderness? No. Okay, great. So I would note that no pain or tenderness felt at the costal vertebral angle. You can go ahead and turn back around for me. Now we're going to move on to your heart. And I'm going to go ahead and percuss at the apex the base, the left sternal border, and I'm going to note that I didn't see a heave or feel a throat, and I'm going to go ahead and clean my stethoscope again, and I'm going to listen to the apical impulse and the fifth intercostal space medial to the midclavicular line. And I'm going to listen for an entire minute, and I would hear 60 to 100 beats per minute, and, I'm going to, and I heard a short, gentle tap. Now I'm going to listen to the rest of your areas of your heart. So I'm going to clean my stethoscope again, and I'm going to start at the aortic area in the second intercostal space to the right. And then right across to the left in the second intercostal space, the pulmonic. And then the third intercostal space underneath on the left, herbs point. And then in the fifth intercostal space, the tricuspid area to the left of the sternal border. And then the mitral area, fifth intercostal space. Uh, medial to the midclavicular line. And I'm going to go ahead and do that again with my bell. So aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. And I'm going to note that the rate and rhythm of the sounds were regular with no sinus arrhythmia and no pulse deficient. And I would note that S1 was heard louder at the apex and S2 was heard louder at the base. Um, next, can you lay on your left side for me? So I'm going to listen at the apex with my bell. And I'm going to be listening at the fifth intercostal space 
medial to the mid-clavicular line. And I'm going to note that I heard no S3 or S4 extra heart sounds. And you can go ahead and sit back up for me. And I'm going to have you just lean in a little bit like this. And then listening with my, clean my stethoscope, listening with my diaphragm. Um, just breathe in and out for me. Okay, so no diastolic murmur was heard. Well, I'm going to move on to your anterior thorax, and I am going to just note your the symmetry of your breathing. Um, do you have any difficulty breathing? No. Okay, her skin again looks clean and dry and intact. Um, so the lung sounds are. Um, Anteriorly, they're just be below the, cl the clavicle and then down to about the sixth to eighth rib on them. And then we would listen back and forth just around the borders of the lungs. So I'm going to do that. So Maggie, I'm gonna put my stethoscope on you and then I just need you to take a deep breath in and out every time I do. Okay, so her lungs are clear and equal bilaterally. And listen to them, nothing abnormal in her lung sounds. Um, so we would hear up in this area, up in her tracheal area, we're gonna hear the bronchial sounds. They're more high pitched, like when you're talking um, and it's on expiration. And then more in the middle, like above her, like upper middle third of her chest, um, we're going to hear the bronchiovesicular ones. These are a little bit deeper, um, and they are, um, in, the inspiration and expiration is equal. And then lower down here above, below her lung fields is the vesicular sounds. These are the deeper, low pitch ones, and they are heard on inspiration. Um, okay, and then if you want to turn around in the chair for me, we'll listen to the back of um, your lungs as well. So the lung posts for the back of her are gonna be above her, her scalpula and then down to the 10th or 12th rib down here. So Maggie, we're gonna kinda do the same thing when I put my stethoscope on you. I just need to take a deep breath in and out. Okay, okay, you can flip back around, Maggie. Her posterior lung sounds are also clear and equal bilaterally. Um, if we wanted to, we could check her spine during that point as well, but I'm gonna save that for the end. Um, we're also gonna listen to your heart. So the heart lung points are the aortic pulmonic, and then we go down to the um, tricuspid, and then the mitral valve valve is the apical pulse which is where we would take the pulse um for one minute um so i'm just gonna listen to your heart real quick while you're sitting up you sit up that sounds good and the other points are just right around here So her heart sounds good and clear as well, no signs of murmurs. 
S1 is gonna be her loudest down here, and then S2 is up here. Hold. So next we're going to look at your chest. So I'm gonna have you take your shirt off, if you could. So first, we're going to look at, you want to move your hair if that's okay? Yep. We're going to look at her spine. It does look midline. And then we're going to look at her scapula. Um, they're flat, non-protruding, so it seems pretty normal. Um, next, I'm going to listen to your chest sounds. So I'm going to listen to your breathing on the anterior side. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you breathe in through your nose and then out through your mouth. Okay, for the anterior side, it was pretty equal throughout, um, bilaterally equal, no coughing or wheezing or anything like that. Um, so now I'm going to do the posterior. Same thing. Yep. Oh, I'll have you move and face towards that way. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the same thing, they were um, equally bilateral, um, no wheezing, no coughing, no anything that raises awareness or anything like that. So next we're going to go into heart sounds. So the first heart sound is going to be um, aortic. So aortic is in the second intercostal space, it's at the base of the heart, it's S2, and um, it is the right sternal border. So we're going to listen to that real fast. Okay, next is pulmonic. It is also in the second intercostal space. Um, it is left sternal border and it is also at the base of the heart, which is S2. Okay, third is herbs point. That's where you can hear um, murmurs. It is in the third intercostal space and it is also on the left sternal border. Okay, fourth is 
tricuspid. Tricuspid is the in the fourth intercostal space. It is a at the apex, which is S1, um, fourth intercostal space, and left sternal border. And the last one is mitral. It is in the fifth intercostal space. It is midclavicular, but it is still on the left side. And it is also at the apex of the heart and S1. Okay. So Do it on the on your back, okay? Now I'm gonna give you some phrases, okay? And I'm just gonna, I just want you to repeat them back to me, all right? The first phrase is 99. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Perfect. Your next phrase is E. E, E, E. The last one is one, two, three. 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 Perfect. Now, can I get you to lay on your back for me, please? All right. Now I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna listen to your uh, heart, okay? All right, perfect. Now, can you um, sit up for me, please? All right, now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna listen to all your pulses, okay? I'm just gonna make sure you can feel them, all right? Perfect, see this one? Perfect. This is right on. Perfect. Okay. And while you're sitting, can I have you take your socks off, please? The last one we listen to is uh, your your pop lydial. So can you uh, lay on your stomach for me, please? Okay. 